Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for Notion here at Presonus. This quick start video focuses on note editing. So once your notes are entered, see the earlier quick start video for details, you can manipulate them in a few ways. To change pitch, select a note or notes and use your cursor up and down keys to change diatonically. For chromatic steps, hold down Shift whilst you do this. For octave changes, hold down Command and Shift while you tap up and down, or on Windows, Control and Shift. You can of course specify the exact transposition. Go to Tools, Transpose and select the interval, direction and number of octaves. You can also elect to transpose any key signatures if they occur in the selection. You can add accidentals or quarter tone marks to notes, or toggle the enharmonic spelling. If you want to repitch a whole passage a note at a time whilst keeping the durations, you also can go into step time mode and then play the new notes either with an attached MIDI instrument, the on screen instruments, or with computer keyboard keys A to G. And the other way around, if you wish to change a duration but keep the pitch, then use the keyboard shortcut equals. Make a selection, hit equals, and then the shortcut for the desired new duration. This depends on your selected shortcut set, but in this case I tapped equals S for 16th note. Now let's attach some expression to these notes. First off, dynamics. You can select these from the palette, or use the easy to remember keyboard shortcuts, F for forte, P for piano. For other degrees of forte, for example, just keep tapping the F key and it will toggle around your options. For crescendo and diminuendo, use the angle bracket keys that look like a crescendo and diminuendo. Toggle the same keys to get the text versions. To add articulation, you can use the mouse and palette to click them onto each note. Again, it's quicker with a keyboard shortcut. The number one key, for example, is for staccato, which again, if you toggle, repeatedly gives you all the variations of staccato you could enter. You can apply this directly or use the shortcut to quickly add articulations to a selection of notes. You can also right click the selection, go to notes for more articulation options, including whether to show them above or below the note, or to change them to another. To add instrumental playing techniques, there are a range of general techniques available here, and here in the Guitar Techniques palette. There are more specific techniques available in this last palette, which changes depending on which instrument staff is selected in a score. Most techniques and other turns and mordants can be recalled quickly through the powerful Express Entry tool. Hit the apostrophe key to enter Express Entry mode and type a few letters from the technique you want. For example, PIZ for pizzicato. Then click into your score. That's it for this quick start video. Thanks for watching.